right, folks, we have, let me just check how many are in chat at the moment, Mark. We have uh, 90 people in chat. We are live on the Feel Good Friday show. Really appreciate you being here. And uh, yeah. I've just primed everyone. You joining us to give us an update on what happened this week on GMTV's This Morning with Philip and Holly. Why don't you, why don't you tell our audience what happened? How did it all start? What, how did it all kick off? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give people the, the, the inside scoop. Most people don't know is that initially the show was talking to um, Douglas Falk. Okay. If you remember him. Yeah, of course. He's um, in chat now. He's in chat. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I don't mind saying it. And uh, th they were going back and forth for a couple of weeks, and then they decided somebody there watched the documentary Behind the Curve. Okay. And so then they said, you know, they basically said, oh, we're, we're, we really want to go down that direction. We want to talk to either Mark or Patricia or, or someone like that. Okay. And so Douglas let me know this. Okay. And so I reached out to the producers in there and I said, hey, you guys looking for, and they, they jumped on it immediately. And they said, yeah, can, you know, can you come over short notice? I said, sure, why not? So they flew me over on uh, Iceland Air and uh, put me in a hotel, I think the Dorset, which is in, oh, something Shire. Okay, so <laughs> right. near the studios, yeah, in Shepherd's Bush. So the studios? Was it near the studios? And, uh, yeah, okay. Go but ahead. what was really great was that uh, two of the producers, you know, because the, they do, what a lot of people don't know is the people, the hosts don't really have an opinion on most, many topics. Okay. You know, they're fed, the producers are the ones that create all the content and, and the, the, you know, in this case, Philip and Holly. Yeah, they've got some opinions on things. We'll get into that. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, they are head, you know, you, you see them holding a whole bunch of yellow sheets. Okay. Those sheets are created, those talking points are created by the producers and the people that are coming on the show, the guests. Okay. So we had the, um, a couple of the producers that were absolutely on board with us. They do a lot of research. So they, they have this big team underneath <laughs> the floor below, actually one, I think maybe even two floors below. The, uh, the studio is this big uh, research pit. Okay. With a whole bunch of people, you know, on computers, constantly looking at topics all the time. Okay. And that that team was very curious about the Flat Earth. And there were several members in that team that were on board with Flat Earth. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So they were the one. And they did. And so we had conversations. You know, I had conversations with several different producers beforehand going over talking points. And, you know, they said, what about this? What about this? And... The only thing they got stuck on, which was interesting, was, uh, and Philip brought it up later, but it wasn't one of the talking points initially, and I, I think that was deliberate, which was the, several of them says, well, you know, you can obviously see the curvature from, the air, from, the, from an airplane. Yeah. And I said, really? Okay. So I sent them uh, two things, and you probably got, you, you probably have, you know, one obviously is the... Um, uh, the weather balloon footage, one of the weather balloon shots at 120,000 feet, okay. you know, showing it's absolutely, okay. absolutely flat. But the other one I like showing people nowadays is because it just, you know, it cuts to the quick, which is the Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, sh presentation where he's saying that he's he's angry. A lot of people don't know this, and you really should look up the clip if you get a chance. Or not, but I'll give it to everyone you. Knows it. Yeah, I'll be I'm sure everyone knows this one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is here. In fact, let me let me. Uh, I'll dump it right after I'm done talking. Okay. The um, it's the beach ball one, isn't it? That stuff is flat. Yeah, that it's one. the beach ball yeah. one. And what he's he's angry, really about the uh, where is this? Damn he's thing? angry about Felix, there it is. isn't he? People saying yeah, Felix Felix mm. Bumgard. Yeah, yeah, he is not thrilled. Here, I'll copy this off here. Uh, he is not thrilled because he thinks it's ironic. He thinks that it's dishonest. <laughs> That Red Bull showed uh, Felix Baumgartner uh, at what they called the edge of space, yeah. right? And you know, even though he was only twenty miles up, and and Neil says, well, you know, they used a wide-angle lens, and we call it a fisheye lens. And uh, he he said that it was dishonest because at twenty miles up, he was very enthusiastic about this, very adamant, where he said that there is no way you can see the curvature of the Earth from even twenty miles up. He's basically saying that no civilian will ever see the curvature of the Earth. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, they said, you can't see the curvature two millimeters above this beach ball, you know, which was yeah. the earth. And it, it was and it ends with, you know, him saying that it's flat. Now, of course, you know, he he's not saying that it's absolutely flat, but he's saying that for, for that it's so large that you'll never, ever see anything but flatness. And I thought that was very, very interesting because I've had so you too, probably I've had so many people tell me. Not only have they seen the curvature from an airplane or a balloon or the Red Bull jump, but they've seen it from the freaking beach. Yeah. So that shuts them up. They can't quick. have it both ways, can they? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so that came up. We'll we'll get to the 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 Holly and and Philip thing mm. in a second. But that came up in the research thing, and I sent it to him, and that was it. That talking point was killed for, because it's like, well, that's it. I mean, if the number one scientist in the world popularity wise yes. uh says that it's that there's no way you can see the curvature then who you know that, that's that's kind of a big sticking point mm. so um other than that everything else went great you know and i had some wonderful conversations with these guys lasting you know 30 45 minutes and the you know i drove you know me i just drive it home drive it home drive it home yes. and they were like yeah we absolutely okay fine we've got all the talking points we need and they had at least oh god like 20 Way more than we were ever going to use. And so I get there. So the morning of the the thing, what they do is they have a car pick you up at the hotel. Yeah. And they drive you. I mean, it's it's very, I mean, it's, you know, it's about as close to Hollywood as you're going to get as far as, you know, the security procedures. So there's a person that meets you at the gate to, to make sure. And uh, then you're down in the green room, and the show is playing. Whatever's whatever's happening live is is in a, on a big screen in the in the green room, and you're there with other guests and and um, women in bathrobes because you know they have a wardrobe department. And the other person comes in, makes you sign a waiver, and they leave. And and then the producers come in, and you know they're talking to you. And mm-hmm. so the two producers I talked to, I'm not going to give out their names. Uh, they they came in and, and chatted with me, and one came up, went over talking points. And then another person comes in and takes you to uh, hair and makeup mm-hmm. because, as you know, you know, this needs a whole lot of work. And <laughs> I was in hair and makeup and I come back and then you go back to the green room and you're waiting basically for a little bit. And then another person, you know, everyone's got headsets always. They, yeah. they, they, they know where you are at all times. Uh, they walk you up back upstairs through a couple flights of stairs and they um, – uh, take you to sound, you know, so you get hooked up for a microphone, okay. and that's back behind the the sound people are literally right behind the main stage. Okay. And for a lot of people that don't know anything about the Philip and Holly show or Good Morning show, is that you know those those screen those, those things behind you, you know, it looks like you're what right on the on the Thames, you know, like they've got windows right on the Thames. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no. <laughs> No. You, you, it might as well be a bomb shelter. I mean, you are absolutely inside the middle of this building, and there's you know um, there's no windows anywhere. So, and which shouldn't surprise anybody that the window frames that you're looking at, each segment is about the size of a big screen TV. Yeah, that's why it's okay. it's a seamless projection. It's not green screen. It is it is televisions that are showing. In fact, I don't even know if it's a live shot or not. It could be a live shot of the Thames. But or could be pre-recorded. We I don't know. They probably have a backup just in case the weather's terrible. (laughs) But I mean, you know, it's like, oh, it's a sunny day. Play the sunny day one. You know, play the rainy day. I don't know. You know, if you know, I haven't watched the show enough to see if like there's rain in the background sometimes. So just talk talk us through. You know, you 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 obviously had an idea of some scripted questions. uh, Right. You had an expectation, and then things changed. As you got yeah, <laughs> so we had a general set of questions, you know, how you got into Flat Earth, uh, dissension in the ranks, uh, what about, you know, the Antarctic, what about uh, time zones, what about this, what about that, you know, mm-hmm. planets, and I mean, all sorts of fun stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, you know, the, the hosts, especially if they've been on a long time, you know, they've been on the air a long time, they have they have free will to basically go anywhere they want. Okay. The talking points are just that. They're just talking points. They're not talking rules. Okay. They're talking points. But if something sticks in their head, oh, they can totally run with it. And I expect that anyway. You know, there's no, it's not that I don't trust anybody, but you always have to be ready. You know, don't assume anything yeah. when, it, when it comes to that. So Philip all of a sudden goes off on again he's older and and I, I i get it it's like well you know he was on the concord that was not one of the talking points no. which, straight, which was on the concord because 
just what that's off script and i knew that immediately but it's okay because be, it's like look be, i've been in in group settings before where people they want to talk about something and then all of a sudden they just go off mm. the rails and the producers did not have this as one of the talking points because i could shoot it down as fast as I, as fast as i could okay. so I, I know they were trying to generate controversy initially which was like well you know phillips basically challenging me i saw the curve from the concord and you know I've gotten that I've gotten that so many times from people over the years, and it's like and and you heard me say it, and it's like look, it's not that you saw it, you wanted like, to see it, and I challenge that to anybody. It's out there, you know. I I put the challenge out now for four pushing on five years. The clues are now five years old, um, which is if you see the curvature from somewhere, fine, take a take a shot of it, put it on uh, some sort of screen. Make sure it's absolutely, you know, uh, curv mm -hmm. curved, and then send it to me. I'll quit flat Earth. Uh, I will. And uh, we didn't have time to to go into all that. So that's when I, you know, I said, look, you want to see the curve, you know? I, and I believe I said because I was I had to do I had to say things really really that's fast. A great answer though. That's um, a great answer because he said that you're calling me a liar, and you said no, you want to see. It. You're not a liar, which is it takes yeah, the, no, steam uh, no, it it's not, the steam out of that point. It's, it's very Orwellian. Um, I'll tell you because the we have time to say it. I mean, I have, I have a big long diatribe, and I'm not going to go into the long diatribe. But um, I, did you ever watch Star Trek Next Gen? Some of it, not all of it. Okay, there was a wonderful. I mentioned it because Patrick Stewart, you know, yeah. British. So Patrick was in there, and he was captured by the Cardassians and um, being tortured, and he was rescued. Mm -hmm. And the torture process was very similar to the torture processes over the years. And this it has to do with lights. It's Orwellian, which is they sit you down and they say, how many lights do you see, right? And there's obvious there's four lights above. And he goes, I see four lights. And they beat you. <laughs> and they say, no, there's five lights. I see. Right? Compliance. Yeah. And what's in <laughs> Yeah, compliance. And what's interesting was Patrick Stewart's a line at the end of that that show, which, which was when he was talking to Riker. He says, "He goes, you know, the the part that 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 terrified me more than anything wasn't you know the the pain and the suffering. It was when you rescued me, I saw five lights." Mm -hmm. And that the point was is that if you drive something home, you know, like like the globe in this case, if you dr if you drill that into people time and time and time again, you know, starting when they're six years yeah. old, and then, you know, you're you're going to see mm. it, you're going to want to see it. And I have run into pilots, many pilots, and they all say the same thing, which is like, yeah, when we're looking out of the front of the airplane, we have this real paradox because we see it's absolutely flat. Yeah. But we know it's not. Yes, well, you covered that really well because they said, are you calling all NASA astronauts, pilots, engineers? Are they all lying? And you just went into compartmentalization, which was the right answer. Because you, you, right. you did it well because you said something like the generals know the battle plan. But the, the other... Yeah, side, yeah, the general. Hmm. Honestly, I was in a blur at some, at some stage because when you're trying to condense... When you, you you've heard some of my interviews, when you're trying to condense like stuff that takes ninety minutes to two hours down to, and they told me this, it's going to be less than nine minutes, and and I I knew they'd go over because if I can get ahead of steam, you can just hear the producers. <laughs> um, but but in doing that, I sacrificed my book when because I had to get off. They gave me an opening for the five bullet points. Yes, and and I took it. And you know, and I, and you probably heard me. I talked as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> well, they said, those, "What's your I, proof?" <laughs> I didn't want to give them a freaking breath of opening. No. And uh, when I was done, I realized, like, ah, oh, crap. We couldn't. We couldn't talk about the book. Um, but the other thing I brought up, as far as you know, the Concord thing, which I love, you know, was was the Neil deGrasse Tyson mm -hmm. thing, which you know, again, I'm not diminishing Brian Cox, but Brian Cox would say the same yeah. thing. Which was, you know, the, he, if if the Earth is a globe, even if the Earth is a globe, you're not going to see the the curve. No, you're never going to get up high enough to see it. So, and 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 some, you know, detractors, trolls will say, "Well, what's the point?" And my point is, then why is everybody telling me they can see the curve? Yeah. Everybody says that. It's like, oh no, you know, how many times have you heard it? it's like, you ever been in an airplane, stupid? <laughs> That's because you see the curve from there. Yeah, I see it. It's like, really, do you? Because the best. I'm sorry. Not, I'm really confused. The best or the most popular. The most popular scientists in the world say 
that you absolutely care not. Well, certainly kept him quiet. It certainly kept him quiet. And uh, when you hammered out your last five points, I saw Holly and Philip just capitulate. They just went soft. And yeah. I absolutely love the way Philip and Holly finished up, which was to say, well, I, don't, I think we could cope. I think we're ready for this information. Let's not spend money on CGI and waste it on, and let's spend it on the NHS, which is our health service. And right. And Holly went fascinating or interesting, she said. So credit to you, Mark, because yep. I knew your time was running out and you, you were on the ropes for the first couple of minutes because they hit you hard with all their triggered responses. Um, I, yeah. I, I heard you say that you, you knew that they were triggered and went off script. Uh, and then they seemed to soften. Can you can you tell us what happened afterwards? Were there any of the staff teamers or Holly or Philip asking for information, or how did it go after? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you got to remember, by the time <laughs> ten minutes, I can do a lot of damage, yeah. <laughs> and so by the time we were done, they were pretty glazed. Yeah, and they were, you know, like they were friendly. You know, they went into their standard, you know, shake hands and and say hi and stuff. Um, you know, at that point though, I, I I wanted to I wanted to drive it home, so um, I I had two of the keychains from the Dallas conference in my pocket, and I had actually asked the producers ahead of time. There were two things I did um, because I wanted to I, I I really wanted to make an impression with them. Uh, even most of the time, I do not care about hosts. I I don't. I care about the audience and I care about the producers. The hosts look they're they're just talking heads most yeah, of the yeah. time uh, in in this case though you know I, I wanted to because i know that they they talked to a lot of other people i wanted them to at least remember what what they were dealing with and so i asked the producers if i could give them some keychains they go yeah you know what yeah why not and the other thing i asked was because i wanted to comment on the philip uh um coming out as gay yes thing. and you didn't get the chance I, did I you and so I, but, and I asked if I, I asked if I could do it on air mm. and they said, they said, nah, probably not. The network is not exactly sure or how exactly they're going to play this. And you've heard some of the scandal and everything yeah, behind, yeah. you know, how exactly he was dealing with it. So I, um, so I waited till the end. And so, you know, I, I, I gave him the keychains. I told him they're from Dallas. And of course they get, they both got copies of the book, uh, play with clues into the world. And, uh, which we didn't get to show, but they both had copies that they, they could take with them. And then, uh, I thanked, I thanked Philip, you know, for being, you know, as brave as he, as he, as he was now, uh, you know, that's not my camp, but I appreciate people that are true to themselves, obviously, you know, 20, 2020, be true to yourself. That, that should be the t-shirt. Uh, because it, it's, it's, we, you know, there, we share a lot of similarities in that arena, you know, how many times you said, you know, they're flat earthers that are in the closet or you're flat curious or you're your weekend flat earther, you know, stuff, stuff like that. And and so I told him, I said, you know, well done. You know, I, I addressed him directly and I go, you know, sometimes uh, these journeys take longer than others, but you made it. And uh, and, he, and he, he smiled and he thanked me and, you know, Holly got a little emotional. Yeah. So, so on these key rings from Dallas, is that is that a USB pen with loads of videos and PDFs or? No, 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 no. This is these were the the big. A lot of people that wouldn't. Most people haven't seen them yet. I don't have. I don't have one here. The um, they're big, sort of silver, heavy, like a. It's almost like a like a challenge coin that's turned into a oh, key okay. ring. I basically, yeah, that's. I it's big, heavy, very well made, um, and and very nice. And again, it's got the Dallas stuff. You know, it, it tells us exactly what it's what it's about, and what they did with them. You know, who knows? It doesn't really okay. matter. Um, do you mind? But afterward, so so afterwards, we you know they, you know, they, basically it's a reversal of everything. You know, you to have somebody go off stage and take you, and the producers couldn't have been happier. Uh, they were they were thrilled with the back and forth. The um, I, I got word from uh, Holly and Philip that they were really happy with the back and forth, and and they thought, you know, of course, you know, compared to just about any other topic that they deal with on a regular basis, um, it, they were um, very uh, interested. I mean, very very interested. It is. It's a very interesting topic, and that that was it. And then we we followed up, and I'll, we'll get over the, to the second secondary news stuff in a mm -hmm. second but you know what was interesting i don't know if i told you this do you know who was on in the in the studio right next no. to me 
Jim Carrey. You're joking. Oh, wow. Yeah. That for, for weird synchronicity. Amazing. You know, I, my, my literally part of my YouTube channel banner is the Truman Show. And he, I know he was promoting, you know, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and, and something else that he was doing. Uh, but And I didn't get to see him because we were in different green rooms. Uh, but it was, uh, was nice kind of neat. Sign. And I know the aftermath, Mark, because you sent me a, a link of all the news, all the news outlets yeah. picking it up. It just went ballistic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, it's already, you know, well over a million hits right now. But the, the media... And I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poke at the the British media, because or UK media, because I, I know, you, you know, everyone loves drama and everybody loves, um, uh, you know, trying to hype things up. But there were two points that they really went after. You know, one of one of course was absolutely false, which was, you know, they said that, uh, you know, flat earther calls Philip a liar. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I've never. I've never called anyone during this whole journey uh, a liar. You know, yes, Philip. No, Philip called asked if I was calling him a liar, and I absolutely said it's no. It's just clickbait. But, it's just uh, clickbait, isn't it? And then it gets them to watch yeah. the video, and then it becomes a talking point in their workplace or their dinner table, which is obviously right. what we want. And uh, that you know, when I read all, when I saw the widespread coverage, that's exactly what I was, what I was thinking. That that clickbait is not going to do any harm. Because they'll want to they'll watch right. it. When they watch it, they realize they'll have had five amazing red pills from you right at the end and seen Holly right. capitulate, Phil, Philip go soft. And I think it was awesome. And uh, Rob, Rob uh, from Berwick on Tweed says Twitter has been great too. I haven't been following fit Twitter. But you're getting lots of love in the, in the chat room, Mark. And um, sorry you, can't, sorry well, you can't see it, but we, we have 95 viewers now. Loads of love when you first come on. They've been chatting away about Philip and Holly. Um, just, just finally, just to wrap up then, what do you see coming next? Because I'm sure you're getting phone calls. Or you had London Real call you as well? Uh, yeah, London Real. I, I felt bad because, well, and, you know, everything for a reason. Uh, the timing didn't work out because they were in uh, New York. Today. In fact, they're still here. Um, London Real was in New York okay. this week. And so uh, I still may go, may go over for that one, but it's not going to be now until at least the end of March, at least a month uh, or maybe six so weeks or more will, if I go. We'll do it then, you think? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they've asked me. Do, do, do you know uh, and, they've had um, Timothy Sheaf on, who's a flat earther, and they've also had Tim Peake? Oh, yeah, and Terry Burtz. They've got a weird mix. They keep They bring it up even more than Jimmy Kimmel brings okay. it up. Um, and so it was only a matter of time before they, they tracked me down, I suppose, because if you're going to bring up flat earth as many times as you do, why not? Um, that, that's probably going to be the next one after that. Honestly, I don't know because this one was so short notice. I didn't even get a chance cause I, you know how it goes. Uh, you know, people, it, when it comes to producers, you take things with a grain of salt because they, there's a lot of plans. People say, oh, yeah, we're gonna, totally going to do this, and then it falls through. And so I literally wasn't telling people, as you know, I didn't tell you until I was almost yeah, there. Sure. Um, because, again, because you don't know. Sometimes you're like, you can get bumped. That's, that's yeah, the other thing. Um, with, with, yeah. stuff, with mainstream stuff like that, you can get bumped in two seconds. So, I mean, I, did, I was like, even while I was going to the airport, I was checking my phone every once in a while just in case, you know, because they were the ones that, that paid yeah. for everything, you know, just in case they said, oh, sorry, we can't have you come. You know, we just had a last minute thing from the queen or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you got trumped. It, you know, you get bumped by. Yeah, you get trumped. <laughs> but it was it was a it was an absolute blast. Uh, uh, I was I was sad that. uh uh, I, I didn't get to stay longer, but at the same time, you know, it was, it was just one of those trips and the, and the exposure was totally worth it. I am sorry. I apologize for all the, um, uh, the Scottish people that were involved in the civil war that I apparently started after I left. Many died. Uh, you know, I, I know <laughs> again, it's, it's I, I know. guerrilla marketing at its best, you know, how, how to, how to create a, a viral thread on social media is ask a controversial question or 
ask a, well, it wasn't, a charged, that, is slightly charged for them maybe or <laughs> oh, well, here's the, I, I don't i didn't know look over in the united states for example you know we had a massive civil war blue versus the gray north versus the south and the south is still around it, it, it's not like we don't talk about it and so when I say that, you know, when I say that, hey, the Scottish clans hundreds of years yeah, ago <laughs> used to hate English, shouldn't be that much of a controversy. All of a sudden, the Glasgow newspaper, is, you know, it's flat earther said Scots hate the Brits. I'm going, well, I'm just teasing, Mark. We can cope. But it's just the press that def definitely pick up on it. But um, I just want to say, everyone in the chat, I hope you've enjoyed this little conversation. Do give Mark some big uh, love in the chat. If there's any questions you have, quickly drop them in and I'll, and I'll ask. But Mark, um, I, I'm sure you're going to get loads of phone calls and uh, emails as a follow-up. And thank you so much for what's happening because in the UK, that's a big show. And that would have caused a lot of dinner, dinner table conversations, work, canteen conversations. And I just think it's excellent. Yeah. You've done us a great service because you, ha you handled thank it you. so well. I really... I felt for you in the first five minutes because you were you were on the ropes. Then you pulled it back in, and then you gave them the five points beautifully well. Even even with last gasp breath, I was just so relieved for you that that you got them out. <laughs> and uh, you know, to everyone, there's a lot of surprised people that have seen their reaction, and it was their reaction that that triggered this uh, me trying to tee up this interview because I just wanted to. To, to share with people you can do it if you get on the media you can get figurehead a and b almost agreeing with you for the sake of they know they can't go anywhere else and it can be done mark so everyone's giving you thumbs up claps in the chat room someone says come to canada <laughs> and uh i think rob's <laughs> rob's I love next to Canada. What do you mean? I can see Canada from here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Sleeping Warrior says, "Did you did you mention the Scots thing? Because I told you it was a thing." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, no. Can I can I throw this yeah. in real quick? The the Scots thing came up, and anyone that's seen the, the documentary Behind the Curve, I happen to mention. Look, I, I'm a fan of the movie Braveheart. I like a lot of people. Very inspiring. It won uh, Best Picture of the Year over here. You know, for Mel Gibson back in the day. And I always thought it was interesting that, yes, the, the Scottish clans, you know, used to beat each other up. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they would always join forces. It's like, oh, yeah, there's our yeah, common definitely. enemy. That is you know, that parallels in. And I was always wondering what would happen if I did say that over in England. Uh, and now Rob know. says, Rob <laughs> says, uh, give Mark the clan ref. He owes me. He's talking about royalties. <laughs> 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 so, um, Mark, um sending loads of love from the chat room to you and from Roxanne and I uh, we, uh, you, we've we been chatting away on Skype today and through the week we really appreciate everything you've done sir have a, have a wonderful yeah. weekend and I hope you catch up with uh, some rest it's obviously been a, another tiring journey for you but I hope you felt hope you felt okay. it was worth it uh, absolutely absolutely it was worth it I'd, I'd do it again in a well heartbeat done, sir. and probably well well done sir we look forward to more installments from you take care all the best take care Thanks, Cheers, guys. Mark. All the best. Yeah. Bye-bye.